talk about JSON. JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. And many languages nowadays use JSON or JSON-like notation uh, to represent a record, to represent an object with properties. Okay. Now, JSON syntax, the key thing to know about JSON is that it is a file with key and value pairs. A key is the name of an attribute, okay, so for example, name or address, and a value is the actual value for that attribute. So for example, if the key is name, the value is Jane Doe, for example, right? So, and keys and values are associated via a colon. So for example, the attribute name has a value of Jane Doe. This is a key and value pair, okay? And one record, right, so a record is, uh, for example, your name, your phone, your a lot of attributes about a person, for example. A record is comprised of many key value pairs separated by commas and delimited by curly braces. For example, the record for the person Jane Doe starts with a curly brace here. The property name has the value Jane Doe, separated by a colon, comma, a next property, a next pair. Key phone has the value 608-724-0909, comma, the property greeting, colon, has the value Mrs. And then comma, the property key level, colon, associated to the value gold. Close curly braces. So basically what we have here is a bunch of key value, key value, key value, key value pairs. Each key is separated, uh, it's associated to its value via a colon, and each key value pair is separated with a comma from the next key value pair. The last, the, the last key value pair does not need a comma, because the curly braces sort of like stop that on its tracks. Now, you can have text, right? Strings or text must be surrounded by quotes. Numbers do not need quotes. For now, keys are going to be strings. There can be other, keys can also be numbers, but the m widest use of these things uses keys as strings. Remember, the key is this part, right? So you can have the number one colon Jane Doe, but really what you want are strings that, are, that tell you more about what this attribute is. Now, if a value is a string, you need quotes, right? So for example, in the name here, the value is Jane Doe, so you need to put quotes around that string. The value phone is also a string because it has dashes, right? So you need to put quotes around it. However, for example, the birth year, here that's the key, the value is just a year, a number, 1985. The hourly salary is just a, a number, it's 24.5, okay? <clears throat> now, you can have arrays which are comma-separated elements delimited by square braces. So for example, if we have uh, a record with the name of Jane Doe and then a bunch of grades, right? We can have the grades, because there's a lot of grades, we don't want to have grade one, grade two, grade three, it's just grades. And here's an array or a collection of grades separated by square, by, by square braces, right? And then we put the numbers, three comma, 3.2 comma 4.0 comma 3.7 comma 3.5. So each element of the collection or the array is separated by a comma. If it's a number, you don't put quotes around it. If it is a string or text, you put quotes around it. For example, here, the key courses is associated to the value and the values a collection is so is to value English, databases, golf, and math, which are the courses this person might be taking, right? because it's a bunch of courses, it's a collection of courses, is delimited by square braces. Because this is a record, it starts with curly braces and ends in the closing curly brace. <clears throat> now, uh, a record, a whole record can be used also as a value. And this is when we start nesting records. So for example, we have the typical property, right? With a key of name and a value of Jane Doe. Comma. Then we have another key value pair, 
the key is address, and the value is a whole new record delimited by curly braces, right? So the address has is associated to this record, and this record has a key street with a name, with a value, a number, which is 701, a zip code, which is that, and the state, which is that, right? So this is a record associated to the value, the key address. And then you have another value, another key phone associated to this value, okay? But the key thing here to understand is that keys can be associated to strings, to numbers, to collections, and also to other records, okay? Now let's look at, uh, uh, at something else. Full records can be used inside arrays, inside, inside collections. So for example, the typical attribute with a key name and a value sell you company, comma, and then we have several addresses for this company. Because it's many addresses, we might want to use a collection or an array with a square braces denoting an array. And then each element of the array is a full record. So for example, um, for example, right here, right? So we have this record here, this record. There's a, there's a comma at the end of that record, right? <clears throat> so this record, comma, then the next record here, the next record, and then a third record. And each record is basically an address. So addresses is the key, and the value is a collection. Each element in the collection is not a string, it's not a number, but it's a full record with its key and value pairs. Okay? Each, you know, the straight State Street address, the West Randolph Street address, and the North St. Louis Street address. Okay? And then there's a phone. Now, you can nest this in many levels. So, for example, here we have a key, the value is a collection of elements, right? And each element of the collection is a record. Here's one record. Here's another record, right? Here's another record. And it ends here. Uh, sorry, it ends here, yeah. So here's another record, right? So this collection has two records. The first record with a street, number, zip code, and state, and the second record with a street, number, zip code, state, and then it has hours, which is now another record. So we're nesting records here, okay? Another record, which has Saturday, the hours, Sunday, the hours, and then in the week, here we have the value for week is another collection of records, okay? If we want to read this, if we want to read this, we have addresses. We have the first address in State Street with the number, zip code, and state, and we have another address with more information. We have the street, the number, the zip code, the state, and then the hours. And for the hours, we have the hours for Saturday, we have the hours for Sunday, it's closed. And during the week, we have two kinds of hours, the morning hours and then the evening hours, right? And then uh, for this for this address, we also have a manager, which is Jane Doe, right? And then we close this collection, we close close the addresses, and then we have the phone and the name above that, okay? So you can nest this at many levels. And this is basically the language of JSON, in which you can represent a bunch of things with attributes and sub-attributes and, and collections of things.